Uh, well, I'm really excited because uh, the movie came out when I was a little girl. Uh, so I wanted to ask you, first of all, uh, what is the connection between the 2011 film and this new sequel? Mm. Um, so uh, we are picking up with the, the Shrek universe world. We are picking up with Puss in Boots, uh, but it is quite a, quite a uh, long time later where... Um, you know, Puss has, I mean, he still looks amazing and he's still an action hero. Um, and he's actually become even more of a big legend now, um, almost like a rock star at this point. Uh, and so we pick up in a really fun way where, where Puss is, he's slaying giants. Um, uh, but it's such a fun turn when Puss, as a cat, discovers he's on the last of his nine lives. And that's where the story begins, where he finds out there's a wishing star that has crash landed on the earth. And it, whoever gets that wishing star first will be able to make one wish and he's going to wish for his lives back. I it's, think um, one of the connections from the last film is Kitty Softpaws is still um, is going to be in yes. this movie. But, you know, it'll be interesting for the audience to see where the relationship has, has, has gone during this time, because they're not exactly seeing eye to eye at the start. So, <laughs> and more will get revealed as we tell the story. Yep. It's great to see that some of the pre previous characters are going to come back. Um, so can the fans expect more adventures, even though it's uh, his last life? Oh, I think th this is the biggest adventure of all uh, because, because it's the last life. Um, I think w what we've found is, well, one, like Mark was saying, Kitty Softpaws, voiced by Salma Hayek, is back. Um, the, the, the adventure takes us into deeper into the, the fairy tale world where we will meet the dog who is uh, voiced by Harvey Guillem from What We Do in the Shadows. Um, we have, we're introducing uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, just like in the, the kind of fractured fairy tale way where Shrek universe has like, it's the characters, but not like you've met them before. And they're uh, a rough and tough kind of robbery gang and voice the Goldilocks is voiced by Florence Pugh. Um, mm -hmm. Mama bear is voiced by Olivia Coleman, oh. Mama bear, <laughs> Ray Winstone, baby bear, uh, Samson KO. And then we even have Jack Horner. Who's another fairy tale creature. Our, our character, and he's voiced by John Mulaney. Uh, it's very funny, and so it's 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 like I said, the biggest adventure of all. <laughs> wow, that's a great cast! I'm really excited now to see it. And uh, last question: uh, What about the animation changes? Was there a redesign of the characters? You know, I, th I think because uh, technology and and the tools that the artists have move so quickly, so in 10 or 12 years, we're able to do more than what we've done before. But we definitely want the audience to come in and feeling like maybe Puss has been freshened up a little bit, but it's still the Puss in Boots that you love. It's still the kitty soft pose that you love. But I think what we've been able to do is our movie exists in a fairy tale and we want our audience to believe in this fairy tale. So we've been able to, with the backgrounds and the world that, we, that we're in, give a little bit of an artistic treatment. We call it like a painterly look. It might feel like it, it's more like an illustration from a, a fairy tale book. And so we've been able to bring that into this movie. So I do think there's a, a little bit of a fresh new look, but the characters are going to be the characters that everyone loves. Yeah. And I think most importantly, the, the tone of, of the, the, the big comedy, the, um, amazing animation that DreamWorks has always done is even more elevated with this new look. There's a lot of uh, artistry, but also technical side, like Mark was saying, that's allowed for this to, it was a challenge to get, but it looks so amazing. And the animation quality is better than ever.